Hello, my fellow Nigerians. Why is it that truth is very far from our people? Because of selfishness, what they want to eat. They don't want to say the truth. In an interview with Arise News from uh, Felix Moka, the National Public City Secretary of the uh, All Progressive Congress, APC, called out opposition leaders, Atiku Abubakar and Peter Obi for criticizing uh, President Bola Tinubu decision to remove the petroleum uh, subsidy. According to Moka, the removal of the subsidy was a key campaign promise made by all major presidential candidates during the 2023 elections, including Abubakar and Obi. This question of uh, removing a subsidy was a campaign promised made by all three major presidential uh, candidates, including Atiku, Abubakar, and uh, Peter Obi, more castrated, pointing out that uh, both opposition leaders had uh, previously endorsed the removal of the fuel uh, subsidies as necessary step for the Nigerian economy. Moka went on to criticize Abubakar and the OB for their current uh, stance on the issue, accusing them of uh, sharing a public dissent against the Tinubu administration. Today, I think they have uh, nothing else to do in their lives other than to just throw mud and uh, incite the public against uh, this uh, president for implementing the same suggestion, he remarked, emphasizing that uh, the removal of uh, the subsidy was inevitable and that there was no uh, alternative solution. His comments reflect the ongoing uh, political tensions surrounding the fuel subsidy issue, which has been a source of uh, debate and uh, controversy in Nigeria while the removal has uh, led to increased fuel prices and the uh, public uh, discontent. Moka stressed that uh, the decision was in line with uh, the campaign promises of all leading uh, candidates, framing it as a necessary step for economic reform. My people, you see what is going on? Instead of them to say the truth, they will just leave what they supposed to say and be beaten around the bush. According to Moka, all what he had just said. So let's hear from our public opinion, if what he said is truth or not. Mr. Moka, do you remember that your Tinubu sponsored protest against the Jonathan administration for removing fuel subsidy why should he implement what he criticized, even on the moment of uh, assuming office, without any plans of uh, counter effects? It is very wrong of the APC government to be blaming opposition for their own bad governance from Buhari till date. So Atiku and Obi are the hardship and hunger driving the Nigerian masses mad and uh, inciting them to protest okay and now understand that article is had hardship why ob is hunger says one of our uh, people may god have mercy on you no incitement anywhere you old fool we are in nigeria a land richly blessed with uh, the best mineral resources. We are also very best of uh, scholars who are well read, rich even in uh, devised cultures. Leadership problem. There is no country without their issues. But ours is lavish spending in the clear face of uh, hunger occasioned by parochial uh, policies and uh, administrative arrogance. 
The global economic meltdown is everywhere. West Africa, East Africa, Canada, USA, Europe. Please call your family and friends there about cost of living and the increase in fuel cost. Fuel subsidy must go. Let us hold our governors to accountable. What they do with the increment they get on their monthly allocation from the fuel subsidy withdrawal by the federal government. Is Nubu Begin, is Nubu being accountable to Nigerians for anybody to expect governors and the chairman to be accountable to their state or local government citizen? Tinubu removed fuel subsidy without consulting anybody. So it is assumed he knows how best to drive the policy to better the lots, lots of Nigerians before removing it. Nigerians asked for fixing of uh, refineries, not fuel subsidy remover. Stop. So stop urging the Nigerians to ask governors or chairmen to account for what they are doing with the with, uh, proceeds from uh, fuel subsidy remover. Don't be also do same. Don't he also do the same against good luck, Jonathan. Why are you bitter over that? It is the law of karma, which no matter what, he cannot escape. My people, you are not sincere to yourself since first because you are paying the price of uh, this uh, administration's wrong decision. Peter said he will remove subsidy and will show you the money and do things you will see and acknowledge you and your principal removed the subsidy and kept it to yourself. Governor Obiano said since February, NMPCL has not paid anything to the federal account. I can go on. Because cost of uh, one bag of rice in Nigeria is 15,000 naira abi or fuel, 87 naira per liter. Hmm. So why are you people uh, inciting uh, what is not supposed to say against to be an article? So let the government do the needful and stop blaming anybody for any protest or for any uh, anger by the Nigerians. The problem is the process and not the subject. Removal, removal should have uh, come up after turning around the refineries to work and then imp import, importation of the products will stop and uh, naturally the oil subsidy will go. Let us play politics. Let us not play politics about it. It is simple arithmetic that even a child knows, knows stop supporting evil. Sit up, then Abi, then hold on her hand to do good work. My people, this is what our, our people are saying. Don't mind Mocha. The stock in the trade of APC, when they are in opposition, is to invite the public against genuine intention of uh, government. Then, good luck remove subsidy in, subsidy in 2012 and beg the beg the fuel to 140 naira per liter. But Tinubu called it Jonathan tax and said Jonathan has a bridge. He is a social contract with a populist. Lagos was shut down then at Freedom Park in Ojota and Nigerians revolted against that genuine policy. Now look at when the court party has been dealing with us. May God forgive us if it's our sin. Moka, you are a 
you are not taking the right way for saying this who are you before article and ob you like to stupidity of uh, this uh, present uh, government why are circumstances not always realistic nobody is inviting any, anyone against tinubu but hunger and the poverty does so we should do the needful article and uh, ob don't need to incite anybody nigerians should have been uh, ignited without any prompting uh, from anyone the present government has done what nigerians should crucify them this government doesn't need anyone to incite the government has done more than enough to incite anyone my people moka nobody is uh, against tinubu but hunger and uh, apc tinubu have no good agenda for nigeria they are only there to kill and destroy nigeria the approach is what incites people against them take note the same apc that almost set nigeria on fire in 2015 now accusing gentleman men like uh, petaobi and article of incitement when the poverty in the land and reckless spending by tinubu is enough to throw the country into crisis apc propaganda who will believe them we have learned enough from them no single truth for the past nine years plus only intimidations and their propagandas my people I think all this APC has forgotten that there is something we call karma. APC said a lot of bad things against about against GOG, GEG and the PDP then. If subsidy is about to remove it's fine but uh, what are the plan APC has for innocent citizens of Nigeria before embarking on it? You said someone shouldn't eat rice again and you didn't give that person another food in return. What do you expect? Mr. Moka, your party has no better way out to shut. So stop talking to trash. My people, my people, in your comment section, say your opinion. Subscribe to this channel, share, love and like. Thanks and God bless. Amen.